Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back. It's your boy, Juan. Go ahead and hit that like button and be sure to smash that subscribe. You guys already know what time it is on this channel. We bring you nothing but value and on a daily basis, guys. So snap that subscribe so you guys can be plugged with all the education you need and, of course, the best business opportunities in the world to help you go out upon God's green earth and live your absolute best in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. So it's your boy, Juan, right here, your favorite marketers favorite marketer with another quick video and today I want to talk about a very very important subject guys actually this subject came came up on my conference call last night with my team members uh, and everybody seemed to really get a kick out of the subject so I wanted to put it bring it to you guys in video form uh, to give you guys um what, what's the biggest myth or the greatest myth uh, in the direct sales MLM uh, network marketing profession? And I can promise you guys, if you're new upcoming entrepreneurs, or maybe you're out there doing some research and you're considering uh, on getting involved uh, in this amazing, amazing industry that we call home-based business, direct sales, MLM, uh, direct sales, we'll just call it the home-based business industry. So if you're considering on getting involved, um, this is what you're going to need to know. And I can promise you, uh, if you take a mental note of what I'm about to talk about, it'll literally separate you uh, from 99% of the marketers out there and give you the absolute unfair advantage, uh, period, guys, period, because this stuff is simple. And uh, just like Wallace D. Waddles uh, said in that remarkable book, a Science of Getting Rich, there is truly a science of getting rich and a science of wealth creation, guys. And if you can follow that science, um, which anybody can actually, but if you can follow that science, first become aware of it and then follow that science, then you become a money wizard upon the worth and you'll never have to worry about money again. So real quick, guys, what's the biggest myth uh, in regards to recruiting uh, and network marketing, but recruiting in general? What's the biggest myth uh, in regards to sponsoring and recruiting and what you need to know? Well, the first thing you need to know when it comes to sponsoring and recruiting is that you're already a phenomenal uh, recruiter. You're already a phenomenal sponsor. And I know a lot of, that went over a lot of you guys' heads. Uh, so I really want you guys to think about this, guys. Just remember, you are already a phenomenal sponsor and you are already a phenomenal recruiter. See, guys, the problem with this industry now is that people make things a lot more difficult uh, than what they have to be. In the days of Amway, Herbalife, all those really, really old companies, you had people uh, with no no computers, no cell phones. Uh, you had these people uh, with, with no uh, information, physical information to pass out, no DVDs. Um, a lot of them didn't even have uh, really high quality, colorful print material and whatnot. So these older legacy companies, why, why am I even bringing them up? The reason I'm bringing them up, guys, is because it's important for you to understand um, that it's 2020, guys, uh, and there, there are no excuses. So if those guys and, and gals can build those massive organizations 20, 30, 40 years ago, build those massive organizations and make seven-figure incomes, seven-figure incomes, guys, uh, in, these building, in these businesses with no tools, then which you're excused. See, they understood exactly uh, what I'm about to talk about in this video, guys. See, recruiting is not about... Um, uh, necessarily trying to quote unquote close somebody. Sponsoring is really not about closing anybody, period. And I'm going to get back to the comment that I just made about you're already a fantastic recruiter. You're already a fantastic sponsor. So hold that thought. But back to the point on hand, sponsoring is not about trying to sell somebody, guys. And I'm always, people are always contacting me. Hey, Juan, you know, I'm thinking about starting a business. I'm thinking about getting involved in this program, that program. Um, what do I do? You know, I'm having some problems sponsoring and recruiting people. I don't know. I don't have the skills. I don't know how to talk to people, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, uh, you know how to talk to people. Of course, you already have the skills. See, everybody's a master recruiter. Everybody's a master sponsor. Real recruiting is just about sharing information, guys. That's it. Real recruiting is just about sharing information to the right market, to the right market, right? So let me give you guys an example. If I went to the grocery store and I bought a bag of dog food, right? And I took that, I brought that dog food back home and I threw that dog food out to the cats, right? What type of response do you think I would get from the cats? So this, I got some delicious dog food here. I just spent $40 on this bag of dog food. Amazing dog food. The dogs love it. So I'm going to throw it out to the cats. And what type of response do you think I'm going to get from the cats, right? Well, I'm probably not going to get any response because it's dog food food, not cat food. So what do I mean by that, guys? Recruiting and sponsoring become extremely easy when you understand that it's not about 
trying to close people or sell people. It's about simply sharing information to the correct market of people who are looking for the information you're trying to sell, right? So professional recruiting and sponsoring is simply about sharing information to a specific market or niche, in other words, of individuals, men and women alike, who are already looking for what it is you have to offer or provide. All top earners in this industry, guys, understand that, period. And if you can just understand that one thing, it will give you the ultimate edge because a lot of people, guys, really don't get it. I, I see countless people constantly pitching on Facebook, pitching on YouTube. Everybody's just being pitched, pitched. You don't see any value anywhere. Everything is just pitch, pitch, pitch. And the bad news is most of these individuals that are marketing like that, and many of you, Many of you uh, may be making the same mistake. And if you are, it's okay, guys, because I've, I've been there. I've definitely been there myself. I've been in this industry over 10 years, so I've made all the mistakes already, guys. I've invested money uh, into companies just to go flat broke because I didn't really know what I was doing in the beginning stages of this entrepreneur lifestyle that I now live. So I've been there, guys. I've done that. One of the things that I couldn't really understand or didn't get in the beginning is I was constantly trying to close people and the wrong people at that. See, the truth of the matter, guys, is when it comes to sponsoring and recruiting, if you absolutely want to become a beast recruiter, right? If you want to become an absolute master of a sponsor and the best sponsor, and of course, a top earner uh, in your company, you absolutely must know who your target market is, period. Because once you throw the dog food, right, to the dogs, right? Once you... Up, cast that line, right? And you got that good bait on there for the fish, the fish that are looking for what it is that you already have to have or, or what it is that you're, you're promoting already, right? In other words, when you market to the correct target market, it makes earning on a daily basis, it makes bringing in them fat commissions, guys, you'll be able to do it or put yourself in a position to where you could do it like clockwork. The no's, yeah, some will say no, it doesn't matter. Your broke friends and family, uh, are, I can promise you, are not going to get in anything that you're involved in getting in now. So if you guys are out there and you're currently building a business or you're involved in direct sales or MLM, be patient. Be patient and get really, really good at sharing information to a specific target market, those that are looking for what you have to offer. Your broke friends and family are not looking for what you have to offer. Your Aunt Maggie is not looking for what you have to offer. See, this industry that we live in, guys, is absolutely incredible. And this industry, I believe, and, I'm, and I've been saying this for over a decade, is the absolute best industry in the world. And I believe that for many reasons, okay? But the truth of the matter is, guys, is not everyone wants what this industry can potentially provide. So what can this industry provide? What what can becoming a master recruiter or a top sponsor in your company provide? What can becoming a top sponsor in your direct mail, your direct mail business, uh, uh, your, your MLM, your direct sales company, what can that actually provide you? Well, it can provide you a few things. Number one, it can provide you ultimate time freedom, guys, which is why I decided to become a full-time entrepreneur. I wanted mastery over my time. Because time is the real wealth, not, you know, this, this paper stuff uh, that we call money. Time is the real wealth, right? I want it time. That's something that's, that this industry can absolutely provide you. If you're willing to understand and learn the very, very simple basic principles that I'm teaching in this video, right? Time freedom. Being able to work from anywhere in the world. I'm in a position in my life now to where I can travel and I can work from anywhere in the world, guys. And I'm not saying that to brag or boast. I'm saying that because I want you, yes, you to know what's possible uh, in this industry. When you're willing to just hunker down, learn a few things and apply those things. And again, guys, go after that target market. There are no income caps in what we do, right? That's why we love what we do. So if you're doing some research online, especially uh, in, in MLM, direct sales, high affiliate, uh, uh, high ticket affiliate marketing. Yes, guys, a lot of those guys, a lot of those people. Now, you do have, you know, the guys out there uh, that will throw you fluff left and right, and they're really not being 100% honest with you. But majority of those people are building thriving businesses right now because they understand exactly what I'm talking about. They have a target market, too, that they have a target market that they can market to uh, until the end of time. 
They have a target market too that they can actually bring value to. So enough with the excuses, guys. Enough with the excuses. If you come across my channel, you came across the channel. I created this channel for one reason. That's for the higher thinkers. So we got to help you get your, 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 your thinking up, guys. We have to help you elevate that thinking because that's what it's all about. So those of you have aspirations of making six, seven-figure income, even eight figures, six, seven-figure income, if you have those aspirations, you need to become really, really good at sharing information and sharing information to the right people. And you you have to also be able to get around the right people. Get away from your broke friends and family. Get away from your old broke high school friends that you're still trying to, you know, bond with and and, and do the whole nine yards. And you have to get around those people who want to secure the bag in 2020 and beyond. That's so important, guys. Enough with the excuses. Oh, Juan, I'm not a people person. I can't do this. Well, what are you, a dog person? Right? What are you, a dog person? Right? I was on the phone with somebody yesterday from Vegas who's been following me for over six months. This person has not done anything, anything yet, right? And had the nerve to tell me, you know, I don't think I can, I can, I can do this. I, I, I want to get started. You know, I want to build a business, but I'm not a people person. Well, what are you, a dog person? Right? I told you at the beginning of this video, all of you guys are already great sponsors, great recruiters, right? You're already great sponsors, great recruiters. When you guys apply for a job and you drop off that resume, you're product placing, you're selling yourself, right? And then that job looks over that resume and they purchase you. <laughs> they purchase you at a wholesale price, right? And they sell you retail. So whatever that is, $9, $10 an hour, $15 an hour, $20 an hour. So you have to ask yourself, guys, you have to ask yourself, when will it stop? <laughs> right? Right? When will it stop? All right? And I'm talking to you because you found this video for a reason. Nothing, nothing in this universe happens by accident, guys. It took me years to learn that. Nothing in this universe happens by accident. You can get involved in a business. You can get involved with a direct sales or affiliate marketing program. For those of you that don't know where to start, I'll leave some information. Excuse me. I will leave some information uh, right below in the description that are going to provide nothing but value for you. And I can promise you, if you plug into what I'm doing, guys, if you plug into what I'm doing and you're coachable, okay, I can coach you to six figures in 12 months, right? Yes. And I can make that type of claim because what we do is not difficult. You just have to master just a few things, right? And keep your mental game right. Remain cool, calm, and collected no matter what. The naysayers, forget about them. The haters, you're gonna have you're gonna have plenty of them, right? To keep cool, calm, and collected, like my boy Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, right? For those of you 80 babies who grew up with the turtles, one interesting thing about Michelangelo is no matter what happened, no matter what obstacle, quote unquote obstacles those turtles had to face, right? Michelangelo was always cool, calm, and collected. He never got angry. He always kept his composure, a man of extreme discipline, right? And I know bringing up these turtles sounds kind of comical, sounds funny, but I want you guys to understand, right? That that type of discipline and perseverance, right? Like Mikey, like Michelangelo from the turtles, right? It's what's going to help you secure a bag in this industry. I'll see you guys on the next video. Take